And with regards to technique and preparation for yourself, when you're preparing for a non-fictional character, yeah. what, how do, is, it, is it different from fiction? Well, there's a, there's a lot of homework you can do on Churchill, and he's a many things to many people. You have to decide your way through the part. But, you know, even if only 10% of your homework is, is useful, the more you do, the bigger the 10% is. Gary, to do him uh, justice, arrived very well prepared, having sorted out stuff that he needed to believe in to make himself believe in the character, like his makeup, um, and having learned his lines, of which there are a lot. You know, and so rehearsal really hit the ground running, um, which is, it was more like a play. It was really useful. I was going to say that because even the, like, the aesthetic of the film feels theatrical. Yeah, well, I mean, the, if you set big scenes around a table with a lot of people speaking, I mean, things have to be dramatic. Joe, Joe came from a big film, Pan, you know, with a lot of explosions. And he said, actually, no, I just want to make a film with a lot of people sitting in rooms talking. And he's done that. But in order to make that dramatic, everybody has to know what they mean and why they're saying it, uh, who they are, and what the, what's, what's going on outside the door, which is, you know, the possible destruction of Western civilization. Do you feel that? Well, and also, you know, what else do we need to be reminded of? This is a time when Britain came very, very close to giving in to fascism. Where the, the, the line must be, uh, never do that. Re resist extreme nationalism in all its forms.